Hi everybody, I am your Prasad. Now my topic is Koch's theorem. Very very important. 15th last topic from second chapter NP hard and NP complete problems from DAS subject design and analysis of algorithms. This is my model number 9849181923. If you have any doubts, any queries, WhatsApp me or call me at any time. If you want any study material, ping me. See here, this is scientist name Crooks. The scientist, two scientists actually, Stephen Arthur Cook, one scientist, and you need you need Levin stated that they said said that in 1971 boolean means zeros and ones inputs satisfiability satisfies to a algorithm or problem is NP complete problem that state to be NP complete problem this will be a little bit tough topic but you will come to know at the end. So you need, you need to know these basics NP complete and NP hard. This video I have already done. You can watch in my uh, I will keep in my i card or I, I will put in the end of this video end screen and I will put in my description box also. That video is reaching to 4000 views. You can watch that video. You can understand. Now also I will tell you here that theory is called as Cook Levin theorem. Here, Cook, one scientist Cook and other scientist name Levin. Both names, with both names, the theory is called. One or Cook's, simply Cook's theorem. Cook's Levin theorem or Cook's theorem, it is called. What it is? Cook's theorem states, says that, Cook's theorem says that, satisfiability means sad problem. Simply we can say it as sad. Sad is nothing but so I wrote here capital letters. You can keep your phone into horizontal and zoom a little bit. You can see the font clearly. And moreover, I listen with earphones so that your my voice clarity will be clear. Sad problem, nothing but satisfiability, satisfaction. Is in P if and only if means IFF. P equal to NP. We need to prove that P equal to NP. What is P? What is NP? I will tell you detailly. See here you need to know some basics. P is polynomial problems. NP means non-polynomial problems. Already take that video. I will tell you that also. So generally this is one hierarchy. Problems or we can say it as algorithms or program software. If it is very big, non-deterministic, then that will be divided into P and NP. Here P means polynomial time. Polynomial nothing but less time. It will execute in less time or finite number of steps, not infinite, finite number of steps and tractable. We can tra trace it by giving some inputs. It will be deterministic here. I already shooted in my video. You can watch it. NP and NP hard. These are basics to know the Cook's theorem. P means polynomial time problems, means deterministic problem, determine, define. We can say it accurately. Finite number of steps. We can execute this. This is non-polynomial. This means more time. It takes more time. Non-polynomial. Infinite time. Not clear. Not deterministic. This one is not deterministic. This is deterministic. Means exponential time. It takes exponential time. More time. Time complexity is more for this. Sometimes infinity. We cannot solve it. So this is under research actually. So, this will be a little bit tough topic, but I will make it clear for you. Exponential time and it is intractable. We cannot track it. Some examples are here in polynomial deterministic, we can go with the search, searching, binary search, linear search and sorting, some of the sorting. Those time complexity is searching and sorting, time complexity is big O log n and uh, sorting sorting time complexity is big O n of log n these are example for this some of the example here in this side non polynomial not deterministic infinite steps there we have traveling salesperson problem traveling salesperson problem and 0 by 1 abstract problem 
this takes more time exponential time like for example big o of n square 2 power n for this and for this 2 power n these are the some examples right exponential time 2 power n takes more time sometimes infinity and again non polynomial deterministic decision making algorithm divided into two types np hard we cannot solve it and np complete these are the basics already covered in that video and here this is a relationship between np np hard and np complete np four things p np np hard and np complete in that video i have cleared explained here also i will tell you if you have non deterministic polynomial algorithms infinite time algorithms that we need to make it into finite we need to solve it then it will become as polynomial that's what we need to show here in this cooks theorem cooks will imagine like that still under research this topic is under research but non polynomial deterministic algorithms means infinite steps of algorithms we are making it into finite that become polynomial trade intractable to tractable non deterministic to deterministic infinite to finite this is infinite to finite so here one more thing np complete means that has a formula i wrote here is np complete equal to np intersection np hard this np hard this red red color box and blue color intersection is np complete np hard means uh, we cannot solve it when it become as np complete when we solve it that is a satisfiability sat that comes under this part is s a t nothing but sat is fiable satisfiable problems satisfiable inputs with that inputs the algorithm will be given output software will be done here and here this is also basic uh, diagram before this these are all basic things to know this concept actual concept is here theory this already done for uh, new uh, viewers new watching uh, students i am explaining now relationship between p and np this is relationship between p and np if you have np means non polynomial algorithms non deterministic that change it into polynomial we need to change it into polynomial that's what we need to do in the cooks theorem for example merge sorting takes n log n previously merge sort n was polynomial problems and before that we have bubble sort bubble sort take more time n power 2 bubble sort take more time previously in olden days that changed it into merge sort merge sort will be very fast recently that was discovered and quick sort is very very fast like that every time research is doing on olden days topics which is uh, non deterministic not solvable taking more time time complexity is more for example bubble sort uh, bubbling and sorting out takes more time exponential time n power 2 for that changing that np non polynomial problems into polynomial problems if they have discovered merge sort they have invented they have discovered merge sort that uh, time complexity is n log less time so here now coming to our topic any basics remaining no cooks theorem states that now we are coming to our topic cooks theorem i will make it into chapter wise also for your convenient purpose which topic comes in which time in this video cooks theorem states that satisfiability sad problem is in p p means this if and only if iff p equal to np that we need to prove now p is subset of np p this means that p is subset or equal to np means p is small set less set than np np is a super set big set see here np here p we are solving problems day by day we are increasing our knowledge like uh, my videos and then we will come to np daily we will increase our knowledge non deterministic unknown problem to known problem so that's what here it is 
and reducibility. You get some short mass questions also. I already told you SMS question will get in short mass question. Short mass question will get in SMS question also. Reducibility problem means we have some problem like uh, Q1 and Q2. That problem we need to reduce it. For example, we have given as 2x plus 4. We need to solve this. We don't know the equation. We don't know the formula. But we know this. ax square plus bx plus c. We know the equation. How to find it. Then we need to change this into this way. That is reducibility. Reducing that. How? 0x square plus 2x plus 4. This equation is same like this. You make it your phone into horizontal and zoom a little bit. You can see the font. Right? My phone clarity is very good. You can zoom it. You can see this font. This is reducible problem. Then we can solve it. This is one example. Now, in our scenario, in the textbook only this was given. I have searched in Google for this scientist names and I have read the textbook clearly. See here, we have a problem. Q1 is a problem or algorithm. And A is an algorithm like non-deterministic polynomial time decision making algorithm. This is non-deterministic like NP. We need to change that NP into P. Then this Cook's theorem is proved. Then we have one more problem Q2. That algorithm is Z. See here I wrote. This is an equation. For this these are the things explanation. Q2 is a problem P2. Problem 2 and Z is deterministic algorithm, deterministic polynomial. This one and I2 is inputs, I2 variable is inputs, M is number of inputs, number of inputs we are giving to it to solve the problem to get the software done. The final thing is getting software because we are software students. And here A is a non deterministic algorithm, I1 are inputs. Here, A is non-deterministic polynomial decision-making algorithms and I1 are inputs and N is number of inputs, total number of inputs to achieve this and P of N means polynomial time, time complexity for certain inputs is P of N uh, out of for P N, for P N and here the total time complexity for this is Big O of P cube P power 3 into N of log N. And here for this Q M. Q is one more variable. One more time complexity. And M, M is number of inputs. See here. M is number of inputs. That is equal to Big O of when you give total number of inputs. Big O of Q of M. This is time complexity for that. And the bottom of the line is the bottom of the line for the Cook's theorem is Q1. Q1 is a problem which is non-polynomial, non-polynomial, non-deterministic. Is satisfiable. It will be satisfied if and only if A means non-polynomial decision taking algorithm has successfully terminated. Successfully terminated. Successful termination with inputs I. So here this will be terminated because less time. This is exponential time, more time. This is NP. This is the example of NP. This is the example of P. This is having less time. Time complexity is very less. This is for one input. This is for one input. These are for maximum total number of inputs. These are total number of inputs. This time complexity is for total number of inputs. But here, See the bottom bottom line. Q1 means the problem is satisfiable if and only if A. A means algorithm here. Non-deterministic polynomial algorithm has a successfully terminated, successful terminated with inputs, with a certain number of inputs. Then this is called as Cook's theorem. P equal to NP. Write write neatly in the exam. All the best for your exams.